Hey everyone, my name's Shane. I'm a big baseball fan. And as you can see, Christmas as a Blue Jays fan has treated me very, very well. Thank you to all my friends and family for a wonderful holiday season. But I've got one more special box to open along with you guys in this video. So let's go. But Shane, what box could you talk about? I'm talking about this one right here, all the way from Ontario. Purchase from AJ Sports in Ontario. If you're into sports memorabilia, go check them out. I am so thrilled to be opening this package with you guys right here in this video. We are going to be earning three Toronto Blue Jays memorabilia items. Inside is a guaranteed signed baseball from a former or current Blue Jay. A guaranteed autograph picture, again, from a former or current Blue Jay. And best thing of all, there's a signed jersey in here from a former or current Toronto Blue Jay. We could be talking about Joe Carter, touch them all Joe. We could be talking about Vlad Jr., you never know. And most importantly and best of all, potentially in this box is a signed item from the greatest Toronto Blue Jays pitcher of all time, Doc Halliday, one of my absolute heroes, Roy Halliday. If we have an item in here signed by Roy, oh boy, you're going to hear some screaming. Thank you, thank you so much, AJ Sports, for this deal. This came from a Black Friday sale, and I have been waiting so, so, so long. Go check them out. They're all about MLB auction, sports memorabilia. If you're into hockey, they're that kind of thing. If you're into basketball, go check out some Raptors. It's going to be a great moment opening this box for you right here on stream. And if I sound a little different, we got a brand new microphone. So check us out. We are going to be adding more and more video content. Super excited about this microphone. And we are going to be having all kinds of fun here on this video. So let's get into it. Item number one, the tape is off. We're popping the box. We're not going to look inside because I don't want to get fooled with this jersey. But we are going to break out the baseball. That certainly feels like a baseball to start with right here. We have an autographed baseball. Guaranteed autograph from a former or current Toronto Blue Jay. It is authenticated. All the items from AJ Sports are. So make sure you go check them out. Certificate of authenticity included. We're not going to look at the certificate yet. To see if we can figure out just who it is from the signature. Ooh, I think I know that one. Check it out, check it out. There it is, you guys. There is the signature guaranteed Blue Jay. How about Devin Travis? Number 29. Let's take a look at the certificate of authenticity. Very cool if it is. There it is. It is indeed. There you guys can see it. Devin Travis, authentic autographed baseball from the former second baseman. Also current Sportsnet broadcaster at times who does a really good job in the broadcast. Super excited to get a Devin Travis autograph baseball. That is so, so cool. Devin Travis, a terrific, terrific rookie season. For those of you guys who don't remember, he had a lot of injuries. He really only played, I think, three, four years with the Jays, and that was it. He never really got back to him, spent a lot of time in the minors trying to get healthy. It just never worked out for the guy. Classic, classic inside-out swing. True second baseman. I think he followed Aaron Hill as one of the best second basemen coming in for the Blue Jays there. So super, super excited from AJ Sports. Thank you so much. An autographed Devin Travis baseball. Very, very cool. Yeah, you got to check out Devin Travis. Those stats, just like I said, four years with the Jays. The first one was far and away the best. That's the rookie year I remember from him. That 62 games there. Putting up eight home runs, 35 RBIs. But remember so much about Devin Travis was the bat. 304 average, 361 on base, the 859 OPS, 131 OPS plus as a rookie. He was so, so good for the Jays. The following year in 2016, again, part of that playoff team. But I remember he wasn't available at that time. We had different players playing second base because of the injuries there. Only 101 games that year. You look at the 300 batting average, the 108 OPS plus. You think back to what Devin Travis could have been. Such a strong second baseman as well. He was such a good fielder. He didn't have that typical big time arm, but as a second baseman, he didn't really need it. Very slick fielder. And then you just see the tail off. 2017, all those injuries, 50 games, and that was it. And he just couldn't put it together with a bat because it was so inconsistent with the injuries. Only a 91 OPS plus. Try it again in 2018. Again, as a 27-year-old, 
Got in 103 games, but you could just see watching him. I remember saying his legs just weren't the same. 11 home runs, 44 RBIs that year, a 79 OPS plus, though. The batting average just wasn't there. He just didn't have that same type of pop, especially driving the ball the other way. But he was such a fun player to watch. I remember Devin Travis had such a sweet swing coming up. So I'm super, super excited with the signed autograph and Devin Travis. I love watching him on the sports that broadcast as well. I hope they have him even more this year. I think he'd be a terrific addition. Such a good player. Remember him so well, especially in those 2015, 2016 years with the Jays. But still super, super excited. I love Devin Travis as a player. I'm very excited to have his autograph. Okay, back to the stuff you're here for. Item number two is going to be an autographed picture of a former or current J. Who knows what we've got here. Let's see if I pull out again without looking at the jersey because I don't want to spoil any surprises. Here we go with the autographed picture. I'm going to flip it to keep it away from you guys, and I'm going to take my look first. Oh, well, that's an interesting player. Someone we can really, really talk about. Autographed picture here of Canadian Brett Laurie. Try to get out of the glare there for you guys so much. A Brett Laurie autograph picture. We can almost call it Josh Donaldson. Almost. I know the A's wish they didn't. Brett Laurie was such a good player coming up. So many expectations for, for Laurie when he came up. He came over in a deal with the Milwaukee Brewers. I think it was for Sean Markham. And he came over and he thought he was going to be the second baseman for the Jays. And he ended up becoming the third baseman. He was actually a really, really good defensive third baseman. People forget that. He kind of had a hot head at times. He got thrown out of some games. He was known for throwing the helmet, throwing the bats a little bit around. But just a player who just didn't really grow into it. And then he was dealt, of course, in the big, big trade for Josh Donaldson. I think it was Kendall Graveman, Donaldson. I think Franklin Barreto maybe even part of that deal. I think there's three or four guys. And he just never found it after that. Never really put it together in Oakland. We finished with the White Sox, but what an autograph. I'm very excited for this. I know it, it, it's part of my growing up, though, having the autograph picture from Brett Laurie. I remember him so well, and there was so much hype. And he had some good years and good moments with the Jays. Unfortunately, the Jays weren't very good when he was there, and he was kind of expected to lead them. It just never worked out for the young guy. Uh, but such a great player. So I'm very, very excited for this. To have a Canadian, an autograph come of this box of a Canadian, a player I remember so much in Brett Laurie. Very, very excited for this. Thank you so much again to AJ Sports. This is very, very exciting. Taking a look at those stats of Brett Laurie. Career stats there, of course. Came over in 2011. I was right with the Sean Markham deal. We had thought at the time he was going to play second base. Wow, again, another incredible rookie year in the 43 games. I remember there was so much hype there. And he put up a 153 OPS plus. Nine home runs, 25 RBIs. He had seven stolen bases. That 293 average, he was on base all the time. 373 on base percentage. What a rookie season that was. And he came up as a third baseman. We thought he would play second, but he really, really excelled at third. Had a lot of great defensive plays as well. Never reached those heights again as a rookie. 2012, 2013, about a league average hitter. Again, he had some injuries along the way as well that kind of affected things. And then 2014, only 70 games. Of course, he was such a young player. And I think if things had been a little different, if the team had been a little better at that time, I think Laurie would have fit in better and had some more leadership around him. They were just really building to those playoff teams. And Laurie never really was a part of that. It just seemed like they were a struggling team all the years. Uh, that was part of the big trade with the Marlins that didn't work out. And they picked up Jose Reyes, Mark Burley, and those types of deals. Those teams, they just never worked out. And Laurie was kind of casualty of that. But he was a league average hitter definitely every year, except for that big time rookie season when he came up. Went to Oakland, went to Chicago. It just never worked out, never seemed to fit for him there. Although he had some good seasons. Again, about league average with the OPS plus. Of course, league average is 100, 95, 97. Always had that 15 to 20 home run potential, 40 to 60 RBIs. Struck out way too much by the end. He just couldn't find his contact ability at those ages, and the batting average really suffered. But he was a very exciting player. I remember the hype of him getting called up. Probably the most hype debut for the Blue Jays. Maybe only beat by Vlad and Bo lately. Definitely by Vlad and Bo. Uh, but Laurie was really, really hyped. They thought a Canadian superstar in the making. It just never worked out. But I'm really, really excited to have that autograph. Brett Laurie, very much remember him coming up with the Blue Jays. So very, very exciting.
Okay, the box is back. We've got one item left. This is our autograph jersey. I'm telling you guys, Roy Halladay, Vlad Jr., Joe Carter, all these are possibilities. I'm so, so excited for this. You guys have no idea. I've been waiting a month and a half to open this box with you guys. So here we go. Okay. It's someone I'm definitely, definitely in love with here. Let's see what we got. A player that, if you know anything about the Toronto Blue Jays, you absolutely love the way they play. There is no question. I don't know anybody who disliked this player. So I am super, super stoked for this player. It's not Roy Halladay. But it is Kevin Pollard. Autograph number 11 right there. Kevin Polar, you guys. Superman himself. If you don't know the defensive highlights, check these out. This will fly ball to center. Polar giving chase and makes another. Well, he got a great jump on the baseball, as he always does, and a perfect route. And he needed every bit of that outstretched left arm. You see how that left the glove hand got caught underneath him, but he is fully stretched out here to make this catch. And I'm not so sure maybe that left shoulder, the way that arm got tangled in behind him, the tip of the cap from Biagini on a great play. What a play. And you know what? Kevin Pilar <laughs> never pays attention to the scoreboard. No, it can be 10 to 1, and you're going to see the exact same play. Look at that. I mean, he is airborne, reaching as far as he can. Guy, how about splitting it up and getting two very good players? Pilar makes the catch. This ball is hit to center. Pilar's on the run. Back at the track. At the wall. Oh, what a catch. Kevin Pilar never broke stride. Stayed with it, and he may have hurt himself. Kevin Pilar is absolutely the most exciting Blue Jay I can remember in the last few years. A defensive guru. Absolutely spectacular. Could really hit as well. But Kevin Pillar was something like a 35th round draft pick or something. I don't even know if that round exists anymore. He beat all the odds. He hit at every level. Kevin Pillar, there is a certificate of authenticity in there as well. I am pumped for this. One of my favorite Blue Jays, one of my dad's favorite Blue Jays, especially of the last probably decade, if not two decades. Such an exciting player. Oh, guys, this is going to be up in the backdrop. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe right here. Who knows? Kevin Pillar, so, so exciting. Absolutely in love with this. I could have asked for maybe better, but Kevin Pillar would be in my top five that I'd want for sure. This is so, so exciting. And it's my number. I wore number 11 playing baseball. So it's very, very exciting to see this Kevin Pillar jersey here. So, so exciting. This is absolutely incredible. Let's check out some numbers and really relive Kevin Pillar as a player, as a Toronto Blue Jay. There you see the career of Kevin Pillar. He has not officially retired yet. He had a couple games with the Dodgers last year and a lot of injuries. But there you can see his career, all those years in Toronto, part of the 2016, part of those playoff teams. Never really an above league average hitter. He had 95, 93, a little bit under with the OPS plus, 81, 86, before he was dealt with Toronto. Had actually his best offensive year in san francisco in 2020 with them and actually performed really well at boston and colorado in 2020 as well such a good hitter he was a player who i remember really struggling to hit the slider but he could really hit a fastball and more importantly for him he really hit left-handed pitching really well that's the guy i can remember as an offensive player struggled against righties especially against sliders very hard sliders was such a good player against left-handed pitching the defense is what you will always, always remember. Superman was in the building. Possibly the best defense outfield I can remember. Now, people can say he wasn't Kevin Kiermaier. He didn't have the range. He didn't have the arm. He actually didn't grade out defensively these metrics all the time where he was a stud in center field. But let's face it, Blue Jay fans will remember this guy forever as the center fielder, the stud center fielder, because there was absolutely no one in baseball that hustled more than Kevin Pillar. You watch the highlights, you watch these defensive plays. He went all out every single time the ball is in the air. 
He crashed into walls. He crashed into scoreboards. He made diving play after diving play. He made two of the greatest catches I've ever seen. And both were at Rogers Center where he climbed that really tall wall. I remember the first time he did it. It was on Jackie Robinson Day. He did it against, I think it was the Rays, where he climbed the wall. I think it was Johnny Gomes maybe was the hitter. It just it was incredible. Nobody had really done that before. I think maybe Rajay Davis had done it one time. That was it. Nobody really did this. And then a few years later on Canada Day, wearing red, he did it again in center field, which was absolutely spectacular. Kevin Pillar is just one of those guys that you knew absolutely hustled every single day. He played just about every day. He went as hard as he could every single game. And because of that, you had to love him as a Blue Jays fan. I'm so excited for this jersey. You guaranteed it's going to be hanging behind me somewhere and will be part of future videos. What an absolutely incredible player. I'm so excited about this box from AJ Sports. Again, if you haven't checked them out, please go and check them out. There will be a link down in the description. This is not me getting merchandise from them. I bought and paid for this, but I think it's such a good company to go check out. I was so impressed with them, so please go check them out as well. And come check out some more of my videos. We have all kinds of great baseball content. We're less than a year old. We're going to be producing more and more content about the 2023 season as we get there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come check out all our future videos. And maybe we'll do one of these unboxings another time and have some fun with that. So until next time, thank you so much for all the support. And let's have some fun in 2023. Take care, everyone.